If you are running into an issue with the MSI Z790 specifically, the top PCIe slot does not work with a certain BIOS. I'm pretty sure it was like the first BIOS that MSI ended up releasing. So it's resetting now. Hopefully it goes off. There you go. Everything's working now. So how you fix this is you are going to need to install your GPU into the second PCIe slot and get so that you can actually get the update going. And if you have a white VGA light on your motherboard, that is what's causing this. And then another thing that is a, a pain in the butt with this motherboard specifically is the NVMe, the top NVMe is also not going to work for you. And this is all a BIOS thing. So how I'm doing this right now, I forgot to say to like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment. I hate saying it as much as you probably hate me saying it, but if I do not say it, like 1% of you will actually do it. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, all that good stuff. So actually, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys this. So this is the website. You're just gonna search for your motherboard. If this isn't the one that you ended up getting, then you can just search for your motherboard. You get your, get, go ahead and get your BIOS. And then what you're gonna do is, let me go ahead and undo delete. So it's gonna download the BIOS for you and you're gonna extract it. And then in this folder, there's gonna be some other stuff. And then this is the BIOS folder and I transferred this over to the USB drive that you guys saw over here. This is the BIOS flash. If you, if like your computer is not booting, there is a flash button and then there's this button right here. And if it, it starts blinking red, now basically what that is, is it allows you to uh, update your computer without it even being on. Graphics card on the second or even third if it'll actually fit on the third one. And you also need to put your NVMe down here. I'm leaving the NVMe down there. Um, eventually, I'm just gonna swap the graphics card to the top one once the BIOS ends up updating. But I know a lot of people are gonna run into this problem. This is, I mean, the first time this happened to me, I and I had to like take the entire computer apart and reorder another motherboard. And then I I I called MSI as I was waiting for everything. And they said that it was a BIOS issue. So this is a third time, the exact same motherboard that this has happened to. So, I mean, you can definitely just not get this motherboard, but I'm just saying, but either way, I'll be back once everything is updated. It's now in the top slot and um, obviously not gonna show you my password. So I really hope that this helps you guys. I know the first time this happened to me, I thought my motherboard was broken. And anybody that's ever built a computer understands everything connects to the motherboard. So when that happens, you got to remove the CPU, you got to remove the AIO, you got to remove the RAM, you got to remove the graphics card, you got to remove all the wires, you got to remove all the RGB, you got to remove the front panel connectors, the HDI. So it's like you literally are not only having to build a second computer, you're also having to completely take apart another computer. So, um, you know what I mean? I genuinely hope that this helps you guys.